welcome to another session in this session we will be seeing or we will be discussing what are constructors in java programming okay so what are constructors Const so the what are the topics we are going to discuss is first point what is a constructor in java types of constructors and example program using constructor so going to the topic first topic constructor is a block of code that initializes the newly created object a constructor resembles an instance method in java but it is not a method as it does not have a return type in short constructor and methods are different <clears throat> constructor is also referred as special type of method in java in easy to understand constructor and method looks very similar but it has some constraints what is the constraint the first point is it cannot have any return type but it can have the parameter list or various types of parameters this is the basic definition about constructor and we have two main point about constructor the first point is whenever you are writing a constructor how you will identify it as a constructor the first point is constructor name and the class name has to be the same one the second point is constructor executes as soon as an object is created for a particular class as we have already discussed in our previous session if you didn't watch this session please go to the class and object session in our channel and you can able to understand that in a java program you can create n number of classes and inside n number of classes you can create n number of methods and a class will contain constructor methods variables and other fields these are the parts of a class so where constructor will be there constructor will be present inside a class and how it is different from method method can have any name but constructor can have only the class name as one of the similar property of class and sorry constructor and method is you can have n number of methods inside a class similarly you can have n number of constructors in a class so when you have a constructor it will have a syntax so if you see this this is called syntax of constructor first word is public what is public public is a access specifier class is keyword my class is a class name it is a user defined class name you can give any name inside that this is a method this is a method which is present inside my class how you call the, why you call this as a constructor because this method name or the constructor name and the class name is the same in that case this method becomes a constructor and you have four types of constructor one is default constructor another one is no argument constructor third one is parameterized constructor fourth one is constructor overloading what is default constructor default constructor when you have when you normally declare a class by default java automatically have a default constructor inside a class what is no argument constructor if you have a constructor with no parameter or no argument then it is called no argument constructor what is parameterized constructor if you have a input in the form of parameter one input or n number of input that is called parameterized constructor as i already mentioned you can have n number of constructors in a class so how do you differentiate you differentiate with the types of parameters or 
the numbers of parameters you cannot differentiate with with name because all the constructors will have the same name what will be the same name as the class name these are the four types of constructors so first we'll see an example program using no argument constructor this is an example program in this example program we have two classes what is the class name first class name is student second class name is example inside student class we have one constructor same name as the class name inside example class we have public static void main string args so when you execute this program the execute the execution begins from public static void main so after the public static void main the immediate the next line is you are creating an object for student class what is the object name object name is a1 as soon as you create an object for student class whatever or how many ever constructor are present inside the student class will be exec will be executed automatically so output of this code will be it will print hello world hello world statement but you are not calling a constructor anywhere in this program because as soon as you create an object it will automatically call the constructor second example is using parameterized constructor this is an example using parameterized constructor again in this we have two class one is student class another one is example class inside the student class you have a constructor but here the difference is this constructor has two inputs or two parameter what are the two parameters it is two variables of integer data type so and in example class you have public static void main when well, as soon as public static void main the immediate next line is you are creating an object for student class and here you may, here you notice the difference here you are giving two input you are giving two input as numerical value as soon as this statement is executed it will search inside the student class whether any constructor is there with the input as two input if it satisfies then that particular constructor will be executed if there is no such constructor it will not be executed it will be just creating an object so in this case you are giving two input and the two input are integers and it will search for a constructor where it gets or parameter as two integer we will have this block inside this block again you are declaring one more variable int c and now the difference between int a and int c is whatever the data you are sending from here 2 comma 3 it will be stored in a comma b and int c is a local variable which is known only to this constructor so the next statement is you are printing hello world and the next statement is you are printing the sum of a and b so the output of this code will be hello world and the next statement will be phi and you can give any values it is user defined so this is an example program using parameterized constructor next we will be seeing a example using constructor overloading so in this example again we have two class one is class student another one is class example inside the class student you have two constructors so we as i already mentioned inside a class you can have n number of constructors in this program we are using two constructors one constructor with the two input and the next constructor is three input so these are the this is how you differentiate this is called constructor overloading this is called constructor overloading what are the other types of overloading other types of overloading 
available in Java is function method overloading and function overloading. These are the other two types available in Java. If you want overloading session separately, please mention in the comments so that I can put one more session for overloading. So in this method, we have two constructors in TAB and the next constructor ABC. So inside the example class, you create public static void main and you are creating two objects. What is the object name? A1 and A2. When you are creating an object A1, you are passing two values, two integer values. As soon as this line is executed, as soon as this line is executed, it will search for a constructor where it accepts two parameter of integer data type. If such constructor is found, then the constructor will be executed or else no execution will be done. In our case, we have a method here. This block will be executed. It will be calculating the value of C and it will be printing the value of C. This is the same method which we discussed in parameterized constructor. Next one is you are creating one more object as we have already discussed. You can create a number of objects for a particular class. We are creating one more object A2 but this time we are giving three inputs of integer data type. As soon as this statement is executed, it will search for a constructor where it accepts three input of integer data type. In our case, we have this block. This block will be executed. It will print, it will calculate the sum of ABC and it will be stored in D. What is D? D is a local variable and it will print hello world and it will print the value of D. So what is the output of this code? The output will be, the first line will be hello world and here C value is 5 as we are passing the value as 2 comma 3. The next statement is again it will print hello world and the value of D. Value of D is 9. 2 plus 3 plus 4. This is the output of constructor overloading. If you have any doubts or any queries, please mention in the comment section so that I can reply to your queries. This is, a, this is the session about constructors in Java programming. Thank you. Yeah.